what is going on it's your girl lisa living free here in my storage um if you haven't heard about my channel you've been given this channel by youtube my channel is all about living um for about six months in my suv and then i will share with you my journey I am also going to be sharing with you my journey of living in a shared housing environment. If this is something you want to learn about, please feel free to subscribe. I'm also going to talk about buying land, buying tiny homes, or a mobile or single um, mobile home. So that is what the channel is all about. So if that's something you're interested in, amen. You could be a male or female. I mostly cater to um, a crowd of people or women um, who are looking to live this lifestyle. So come on and join me in here so this is my storage unit and what I have is this is for moisture I'm gonna put it down the bottom actually so it collects um, so it's it's like a uh, moisture eliminated health eliminate moisture and I live in Florida this is a climate control um, unit so it's better with moisture than a one that doesn't so if you can afford it get you a climate control storage unit so it won't mess up your clothes your shoes or what have you yes i do have a lot of shoes don't i but most of my shoes no excuses were from thrifting or discounted stores for like two bucks or three bucks and each one served a different purpose at the time with different outfits or whatever but of course i am looking to downsize more so i'll be getting rid of some of these items um shortly but in the meantime they're they're here for a reason um Matter of fact, looking at one outfit I can wear, I look at my outfits and be like, oh, I can wear that one, right? You know, stuff like that. But, um, oh, that's cute. Okay. So, um, one of the things I want to share with you guys, I don't know if you've ever seen um, these right here. It's a camp shower, right? So, I can take this when I go camping or wherever, and you can fill it with five gallons of water. I got this at... Um, to move t-e-m-u -E -E um it was like six bucks now i'm gonna be honest with you i'm going to order one from another company uh i think her name is lakia lakey lakia i think lakia she is also a fan of uh, van lifer she um had a product that was a bucket shower and it was canvas with a rubber lining i think i like that better also had a brass head which let the water poured in like a you know a regular well like a rain shower I think it was only four gallons can go in there. But I love that because it looks sturdier. But this is good too. Now, you put this in the sun. You're going to season it first with baking powder, um, baking soda, and then some water. Then leave it out and let it drain out. So, I got to take it back out. I'm just going to show you this. All right. So, you can get up to five gallons. I also have a 15-liter collapsible water tank. Um, it is collapsible because I do live in the SUV and it's not that much room so I don't try to buy things that are big and bulky but I did want to introduce this to you guys so you guys get an idea so I do encourage you to get a unit storage unit if you're going to be in your city um working or whatever and if even if you travel you got to get back always have a place you can you know have your items so that you don't have everything try to store up in your in your car you look messy so anyway um you see these curtains right here these are just little look that's a um, shower shower curtain just to put a little drape if you want to come in and get dressed now that you have to but if you wanted to you want to kind of drop it down this is see-through but i thought it was cute that's all um also i could take that with me in my suv when i'm just chilling out um near the water and i just want a cool breeze coming in without everybody in my face i could take this and put it up across my um suv and it'd be like um kind of like it still gives you that sense of privacy so anyway that's the shower here i'm gonna go ahead and put this my phone right here yes i'm using my phone i don't have a, produ a high production camera yet don't worry about that when i get my channel monetized one day i'm not worried about it because i wanted to share with you guys what's going on i also have this is all my stuff i also got a blender that you can put in a usb it also charged oh, already on see it's already working i can put um liquids in there and fruit and make my own smoothies now this can go in my um, lighter i mean well in my car usb area and it can uh, charge it i think it's up to 10 smoothies can be made 10 or 15 or if you're making a salad dressing to put it in here i don't know you ever got that only thing i do have a table let me see the tables right there that table is just there just for temporarily i mean i use it when i'm going out camping or whatever if i go camping 
what I do, I got butane because I do have a stove. And if I can find the stove, I can show it to you where I put the stove. Or oh, behind here, y'all. So my stove is at the bottom. I'm sweating profusely because it is warm outside. It's not cold. It's not hot in here. It's just me. Moving around. So this is my stove. This is a Coleman butane stove. So I could put a butane. Um, I got these. Now this one Walmart for $19. And I got this from the Asian um, Asian market. You get two of those. I mean four packs for like $6. I think eight of them like 16 I can't remember. But it was um, a good deal I think anyway. I think it was a good deal. So this is what. I'm going to cut this thing off. But this is what I would use when I go out cooking. Outdoors. When I go camping or whenever. Okay, so going back to this, I want to show you something real quick before I get started cleaning. Um, right here, it's going to be this. So if you're out camping or whatever, have you, this is what they give you, like to hang it up on something. I don't know what it can hang on. Cause this right here won't even hang unless you use a little small hanger or something. But um, say if I did this, I guess. Nope, still not. Okay, so anyway, it don't matter. Take this, do this. It's hot. I'm just hot because I went outside and stood outside doing stuff. And it's extremely hot. I'm in Florida. So anyway, you go like that. Okay. Boom. So you see there? Right there. And then you can go to the Dollar Tree for $1.25 there. They have little buckets. You buy the bucket, you put it in there, and you can lather. <laughs> My suggestion use a spongy or whatever. And you, it is a control thing that says off, and one that says on. So you say off and on, and you take this, <laughs> you do like that, do like that, 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 boom. Now, if you don't have money for a membership, you could do this. You just have a storage unit. Find, get you some water. Um, I do have a rice cooker that I use. I can heat up water in the rice cooker or a portable kettle. Rice cooker is great if you can get it because I use my Blue Eddy for my power source. And if you don't have a power source, that might be a problem. But I do suggest you get a power source so that you can use it for um, doing things of this nature, whatever. But Mine was originally 300 and I got it for 200 It's a Blue Eddy. It's 600 watts max, but it does. It's amazing, y'all. So if you do, you can warm up this. Or you can take this on top of your SUV, your van, your car. Let it sit all day. You can put it on. Nobody will bother it. Trust me, they won't. You put the five gallons of water in there, right? Let it sit on your car all day. Or if you're at the park for a few hours, it's going to warm up. You bring it in. And if you don't, you can be outside with it. Now I'm going to get a little curtain thing to put around it, but it is what it is, right? But I wanted to show you guys this so you guys know that there is options for you if you don't have money for a gym membership. Some of you may not, may not. I mean, you know, I don't know. Everybody's different. So I'm going to leave this right here. Well, no, I got to season it, so I got to take it with me. Okay, let me take this out. Oh, so if you need lighting, which this light, you know, you can see the lights. They have lights here. But if you, if you have like candles or not real candles, the mock candles, um, LED lighting, things of that nature, it definitely would be advantageous to have that inside of this. You can have um, like the little, um, the pop, I don't have them with me right now, but they're the little lights that stuff be in my car. I'm beginning. You can get these lanterns. I saw lanterns at the Dollar Tree. Um, they were $1.25. They're cute little lanterns. You can put them. Like, I think about, um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to get some more and just put them, like, around here. Little lanterns, and then I come the light, and then I'll be lighted in here. Real subdued. I'm not in here all the time, just when I do come. But I have a lot of stuff i got to clean out, move around, so that we make more room and more accessibility to my items. Because at one point, I couldn't get to my stuff because everything's piled up. So I'm thinking, like, I was thinking about moving this over to here. My, some of my closet stuff over to one side. I don't even think it will fit. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it probably won't. But I'm going to try. 
and that will give me more room in the back to set up so it won't be all the stuff pushed up to the front so um i hope that this is helping anyone who is thinking about doing this lifestyle because if the if you don't have an organization if you don't have a plan you will with a uh, you, if you fail if you fail to plan plan to fail that is a mantra i believe and if you fail to plan plan to fail you don't want to fail you always want to be on the up and up and be able to do great things then my suggestion is that you really really take time to write down things i have a book i have my notebook i don't have it i don't have the one that i i'll just give you one that you need and this one is not open i have several books oh matter of fact here's another one like right here i have a journal and i wrote down a lot of things um during my time you know just writing and putting everything together um how much these cost 10 money moves, goal to save $10,000, pay debts down, domicile in your um, a no income tax state, which is just Florida for me, uh, driver's license, residency, voter registration, bank account, mailing address, pay off your car, or you can get a cash car, emergency fund, freeze your credit, that means certain credit, you can freeze it if you're not looking for some, freeze it so they won't keep checking your credit, <laughs> ways to fund your dreams, you want to write down three types of passive income opportunity, invest your money, make items to sell, sell something you already own, rent a room, rent a car, stocks, real estate. So um, vending machines, I have all these different ideas I keep in this book. And I also put in like, you know, my YouTube information, what I want to do a YouTube channel on, like 100 ways to save money, 80 hacks to save money, shop sales, make food from scratch, shop the program of a store. Order groceries online, eliminate the impulse buying, take advantage of non-peak hours, work from home, switch to Mint Mobile, which I have Mint Mobile, um, stop eating out, hand me down, thrifting, stop buying drinks. When you go into a restaurant, just get water, which I did the other day. Saved me like probably like four or five dollars. Order water at the restaurant, okay. Hang um hang laundry to dry, turn off lights, shop around for insurances, things of that nature. And you just put it in your book, you know? Um right here put down scriptures and different things this is a book i bought from um on the stores and it's five so it's five bucks this is called shine and bright and this will be a new book that i'll be writing when i move into my shared living house so i can kind of talk about why i'm why I'm, why I'm there what i plan to do in that one year time to pay off debt pay off different things whatever so get your journal and all that stuff but plan 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 guys you cannot we get, you know, the motto from Nike is just do it. And I do believe that, just do it. But I also believe in planning. Don't just do everything. Um, but that's that's pretty much it as far as sharing with you guys today of my, how I do things, how I move, um, you know, how this, this, you know, this right here is a blessing to have, you know. This is... um six by eight so it's on eight foot ceiling i am five three i think it's seven or eight foot ceilings i don't know yeah eight foot eight feet ceiling oh gosh eight feet ceiling eight foot ceilings my other unit had 10 foot ceilings so it made it look a little taller but it was narrow and it was this is six feet wide so this actually the reason why i could i could really downsize more and i am going to work on that it would really work if I downsize more because it would give me the opportunity to, to get everything neatly put in. And I would have an area, I would consider it like a mini lounge area just to come sometime, just to chill, um, to get out of the car or whatever and stretch your legs, whatever. Have somewhere to go. All right. I hope this helps someone. I pray that you all are doing well. Have an amazing week. By the time you're getting this, I don't know what day it will be, but just know you are love. God is love. And um, if you need me for anything, just feel free to make comments in the section and tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your <laughs> cousins, if they are looking for this lifestyle to hit me up. I am Lisa Living Free. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Bye, y'all.